Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and today is a very very exciting day. We are starting a new series today and I am so, so stoked because I've only ever done BitLife Controls My Sims on my channel. So um, I'm just like really excited to finally do something new. I have been thinking and thinking and thinking about what I wanted to do on my channel and this just seemed the most appealing to me. So, <laughs> so basically what we're going to be doing is the Legacy Challenge and we are going to be doing the Legacy Challenge as myself. So you guys will, since my channel is kind of new, you will get to know me while I play this channel because I'm going to be playing as myself and I will be playing it as if like I was doing like a dream life series as well. So I would live my life how I want to live it um, with the career, how many kids I have, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I know I said I was going to do it with one of my previous sims from my last bit life series, but I decided to just do me because it's so much easier to just start fresh in a new save file <laughs> with a brand new sim and and yeah and you and you guys know that Maria has like a huge family and like a bunch of other generations before her so yeah this is what we're doing I hope you guys are happy I hope you guys are excited if you are brand new here I'm Savannah um, my sims channel is pretty new but I'm really 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 enjoying doing let's plays and builds and create some challenges and all that kind of stuff so I hope you guys will subscribe and come and join the family so you don't miss another video and yeah let's just get into some challenge rules so if you've never played the legacy challenge or you've never heard of the legacy challenge I guess it's been around since the Sims 1 but I'm just now hearing about it because I I'm watching a lot of YouTube, uh, watching a lot of Sims on YouTube. <laughs> so it's pretty much you start with a founder, a one Sim and a brand new save file. And that's the only family that you can play in the save file. And basically you just play the Sims without any cheats or mods or anything like that. And you play for 10 generations. And basically by the end there are certain things that you get points for and there's like a whole list of rules on the internet if you would like to look. I'm sure I, I should probably print them out and have them in front of me while I do this let's play just so it's a little bit easier. But anyway there are a bunch of rules that you have to follow and um, you get points for things that you accomplish throughout the series. <laughs> I don't know what... I guess it's just you try to get as many points as you can in the let's play. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be asking you guys a lot for help because I'm still very new at this. So basically you have kids, your kids carry on your legacy throughout the generations and each generation has one heir. Yes, one heir. And that heir is the sim that carries on the generation. So you pretty much only focus on the heir of each generation, okay? So there are a few rules about who is heir or who becomes heir once you have kids because you may have many. Um, one of the rules is the gender law. I chose strict equality, so my heirs must be the opposite to the previous heir, their gender. So since I'm female, my next heir is going to be a male and then the heir after that will be female and so on and so forth. My bloodline law is strict traditional, which means the child must be naturally born from the previous generation. They cannot be adopted or anything like that. My heir law is going to be firstborn. This reminds me so much of like Game of Thrones. That's why I really wanted to like go the Game of Thrones route. So oh, I'm going pretty similar to that. <laughs> um, so firstborn, oldest eligible child is heir. And then the species law, I'm pretty tolerant. Uh, it, it could be alien. Uh, it does not matter to me. And yeah, that is how we're going to be playing my game. I don't think there was anything else that I needed to pick. I took some notes in my notebook because I'm weird like that and it helps me stay organized. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything else. I am so, so excited to start this new challenge. You guys have no idea. I've been thinking about this for days, preparing for days, and I've been talking for six minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But um, I filled the world with a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Sims, just random Sims. I filled up Newcrest with restaurants, retail, bar, everything you could think of. So yeah, this save file should be pretty fun. So enough chatting. Let's get into this new Let's Play, you guys. Let's start the Legacy Challenge. 
Okay, you guys, here I am. Now, let me just say I am garbage at create a sim. Like, I tried to create celebrities and like people I know in the sims and I'm just horrible at it. So, please be nice if it doesn't look like me. I feel like I captured the essence of me, but it's not completely me. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. If you guys think you can make a better version of me, go right ahead. I do not care. Just let me know when you do. All right, so let's go over these outfits. Here's outfit number one, very cozy and casual, just like my style. I am a very chunky person, so I try to encapture that as best as I could. Here's outfit number two, outfit number three, outfit number four. This is a little bit revealing, but I thought it was really cute, so I just went with it. And here is the fifth outfit. And I ne never ever wear shorts or dresses without tights underneath, so that's why I have tights on in like every one of these outfits. <laughs> so here is my formal wear. This is very pretty. I would definitely wear this IRL. Here's my active wear. I gave myself a few options. My sleep wear, I also gave myself a few options. And I wear contacts, in case you guys didn't know, so every time I go to sleep, I have my glasses on. Here's my party wear. Party wear number one, and party wear number two. Again with the tights. <laughs> Here's my swim. I gave myself a couple of hot weather outfits. And here's my cold weather outfits. I spent a long time yesterday making myself and making these outfits and doing everything so yeah I'm very excited <laughs> let me just double check that I'm a young adult because I have to be and I am and we are all ready to go I hope you guys like her okay so basically in the legacy challenge you depending on how you start there are two ways you could start extreme start and normal start I'm doing normal start Basically what it is, is you have to live on a 50 by 50 lot with nothing on it, and you start with $1,800. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like a rags to riches type of thing. Um, only you're not starting at zero, which is great, unless you do the extreme start version. So yeah, here's our lovely lot. I am doing it in Willow Creek because I just wanted to. I really like Willow Creek. I think it has the best area for like scavenging and collecting and all that stuff. And I know that's what we're going to need to be doing in the beginning here. So I just thought I would make it a little bit easier on myself. The lot traits that I chose for the lot, these are open for you to choose. I did the home studio, peace and quiet, and sunny aspect. Peace and quiet helps with tense moods. This, um, I'm planning on going like a creative route for my career, so that works for that. And then sunny aspect just makes her happier, makes me happier. <laughs> So, with the $1,800, we have to build ourselves a little something something. Now, I don't really want to live like right here by the sidewalk and the road where everyone walks by. So I think we're just going to come over here back into the corner um, where not many people can see. <laughs> Here's a little mailbox right here. Okay, so I do definitely want an enclosure of some sort. Um, and I do want a bed and a toilet. And let's see, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Okay, so are we willing to spend, what is this, 55, 45 plus 15, 60 more dollars for a bed that is comfortable. This has stress relief though. Hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna go with one of these. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny on this big lot. When you put a bed, you can like actually tell how big the lot is. <laughs> okay, so we definitely need a bed. Uh, there goes a lot of our money already. Okay, we definitely need a bed. We definitely need a toilet. I'm just gonna put everything out so I could have an idea of everything that we need here. We need, I think I'm just gonna get the cooler for now because that will just, it's good enough. What's the difference? 
Your edibles. Keep your food. Well, what's the difference? Is this one just like cooler looking? Cooler looking. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, I really don't know. I don't know. Maybe... Let's just get this one for now, and if it if our money is really low by the end of the time where I need to get it... Whoa, what? What did I just say? <laughs> if our money is too low and I need something else, then I'll switch out the coolers. Okay, so we got the bed situation handled. The toilet situation handled. The food situation handled. So we need a shower. A shower will get... Wow, this one is cheaper than this one? This one has stress relief. Does stress relief even really matter? We're getting this one. It has higher hygiene. Higher hygiene. Okay. Um, so let's see. There's energy, hygiene, bladder, hunger, social, fun. Maybe we should get her something to have fun with. Hmm. An easel. Yeah, because I do want to get my painting skill up. That's definitely something that I would like to do. Yeah, so let's get an easel. Okay, now, we have to make an enclosure. Oh, we probably don't have enough money to make an enclosure now. The easel could stay outside, definitely, and I think the cooler can as well. I just want a little... Oh my gosh. That's all we can afford? That right there, this is all we can afford. That's insane. <laughs> we can't even afford a door. Okay, okay, we're gonna get the other cooler. Cooler. What color do we want? Oh, the green one is super cute. Okay, can we extend this out? Okay. No, alright, that's all. That's it. Guess we could put that in there. And that. Sleeping outside is really not a big deal. We can't even afford a door. Was the easel too much of a luxury? I think it is at this point. It definitely is. Let's see here. What's the cutest door? These are all 50. So we have options. Lovely. This one's 52. Why? Wow. It's like so huge though. Oh, I like this one, but it's 65. Hmm. Which one do we want? Oh, here's this one. I love. I actually like this color. Okay, there we go. Now, do we have enough? Why is it so tall? Yeah, it doesn't have to be that tall. We do have enough for wallpaper, so. Or not wallpaper, just paint, I guess. That's fine. Soil. Sure. We need a little roofy. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Let's just make it fit nice and snug. Little overhang there. Look, you guys, we have an outhouse. I love it. I love it. A straw roof. Wow, I think that's like really going overboard, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's see here. Which one? Which one do we want? That one's cute. Okay, okay. Here we go. We have our little house here. Let's move it over here. That's great. Is there any free plants? I don't think so. Nope, $35. Oh, but we can do like terrain paint. Um, this one. <laughs> so cute. And then we need a walkway. Of course. Let's see. Let's do this one. A square. There we go. Bam. Okay, and then this can just be out the front here. And then our cooler can be right next to our bed. 
Yay! How cute! And we have $330 left. What else can we get? Something fun. Why can't we afford that? Uh, table. Oh, you know what? What is it? We need that table where we can sell stuff, but I have a feeling we can't afford that. I don't even know where I would find this. What is it even called? Sale? Craft sales table? Yes! Yes, we can afford it! That's amazing! We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna sell everything that we harvest on this table. Yeah, so maybe this should be over here by the street where people walk by. Alright. Yeah. Okay! We're good! We are good in the hood! Look at our little place, you guys! I love it! I love it. I'm so happy right now. Let's see if we can afford any, like, ground lights. $45. No, we're not there yet. Okay. No worries! Okay, it's finally time to start playing, you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. Alrighty, here we are. Hi, Savannah! I'm Savannah. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so our mood is looking pretty good at the moment. Let's see if there's anything around that we can harvest or dig because we need money. Um, we can fish. We can rummage in trash cans. Oh, we can't rummage in that one yet? Okay, that's great. There's too many trees around here. It's hard to see. Oh, there we go. Our first little profit. Let's get it, Sav. Come on. So I've done the Rags to Riches challenge before. I actually filmed it like a long time ago before like when I had no clue what I was doing with Sims videos <laughs> and like no one watched it, but um, it was fun. So I have a, ooh, a preserved mustache for $100. Oh wait, no, no, no. We have to sell it on our table. I have to remember we have that table. Otherwise I'm just gonna like sell everything. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I did the Rags to Riches challenge before and I think I did pretty good. I stopped like halfway, I would say, maybe halfway. Yeah, no one watched it, but I uploaded it anyway and it was fun. Let's see if she gets anything. Oh, oh, a friend! Hi! Hello, Destiny DeMarco. Let's do a friendly introduction, shall we? Because I really want us to have friends. I want us to be able to go out and do things with people and not just be a little lonely being, you know what I mean? I'm rhyming so much today, it's not even funny. Wow. I suck at fishing, apparently. What's up, girl? Want to be friends? Get to know. I wonder what you are like. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to relationships. She is... She's an adult. She's a night owl. Same girl. Oh, let me tell you guys my traits. I am neat. I'm a foodie. I'm responsible. And I'm a quick learner because of the aspiration that I chose. So basically, I asked my boyfriend, Carlos, I sent him, oh, she doesn't want to talk. Okay. I sent him an entire list of all of the traits in The Sims, and I said, pick three that describe me the best. And those are the three that he picked. I didn't want to pick the traits for myself because I feel like it's a little bit biased. <laughs> so I just had him do it. Who's this? Katrina Lynx. Let's just give her a friendly introduction just so we have people in our relationship folder that we can hang out with if we're like desperate. All right, let's see what else is around here, shall we? Oh, there's our house. How are our, how's our, yeah, we're good. We are good, we're chilling. There's plenty of crops around here, but none of them are ready to be harvested. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Hello. Hello. It's always Baco and freaking land grab. 
Dawson and Mortimer Goth. Homie, what you wearing and where'd your feetsies go? Oh no. Let's um What do we have in our inventory? Just the fossil? This is not good, y'all. This is not good. There are way too many trees around here. And there's like nowhere for us to go. Did I pick like a horrible location? I'm still talking to that chick. Wow. It's over here. Ooh, ooh, come dig. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What I get? Common upgrade parts. Wow. That is so boring. She followed us over here. What if we fished at this spot? Are the fish still gonna be tricky? Oh, hi! Attempt introduction. Why is she famous? Oh, she's a global superstar. And I caught a minnow. Attempt introduction. Who are you? You're beautiful, I have to say. You are very, very, very pretty. She's just walked up and started fishing next to us, even though she's a superstar. That's what I call being humble. <laughs> I can now catch bass, koi, and trout. Good for me. Good for me. Look at this. Is this like a fishing club or something? I caught another minnow and I really have to pee. Okay, let's go home then. You can go ahead and stop fishing. Are you gonna still attempt this introduction? Is it working? Does she like us? Does she like us? No? That didn't go so well. What a bummer. Oh well. <sighs> Let's just head home, use the bathroom, and then... What else can we do here? What's this? View. I don't want to view. Let's just have a quick meal. What can we get? Cereal, granola, and yogurt. I'm going to have to go with cereal. Speaking of cereal. Hungry. Oh no. I just realized... What are we going to do with all our trash? Ooh! Harvest! Yes! There's a snapdragon and a strawberry bush right here so we can um, eventually have dragon fruit, which is great. Those are real good sellers. Can we harvest these? Oh, yes, queen! All right. I don't want to sell all of the snapdragons. Ooh, look for frogs. So I think we should definitely start planting some. Yeah, we can just like, yeah, she could just plant that. Yeah, look for frogs and come over here. Ooh, there's another one. Yes, how did I not see all of this before? Oh my gosh, another one. How is she going to get up here? I guess we'll find out, huh? Yeah, plant that snapdragon. Dig, girl, dig. One shinolite. And a fossil. Let's extract that. Prehistoric rock. Boring. Alright, let's see if there was anything else that we missed. Another strawberry bush that's not quite ready. Harvest. I keep wanting to pick that apple tree. <laughs> Come over here and water this. And it's 8 p.m. So we can probably sleep and then in the morning have our first yard sale. Good morning. It is 4.30. We're going to have some cereal again. And these smelly bowls are really going to kill our vibe very quickly. I can feel it. So she's just going to finish her cereal and then let's have a shower. We can just have like a collection of smelly bowls over here. That's fine. And then I'm going to say probably at like 7 o'clock we can um, stock the table. Ooh, what's this over here? Ooh, an apple tree. Oh my gosh, there's people walking by. Come on, come on, come on. Um, So I think you like drag it to the table. Look at all these people up and at him really early. We stock. Stock. And then 
stock table and then 10 table and then markup prices 300% and then start the yard sale. Come on y'all. Come buy something. Ooh. We can harvest those. Come on. Come on, Mr. Flex. I think, yeah, Marcus Flex. Come on, come on, come on. Give sales pitch. I know you want something. I have such an array of items. I have fish, upgrade parts, snapdragons, a frog. Ooh, an eggplant whirl frog. That is, um, that's rare. Wow. Give sales pitch. Buy something. Yes! Queen! What did he buy? What did, oh, he bought the fossil. Sweet. For $32. No? No? Come back, please. I have a rare frog. You guys want this rare frog. I know you do. Who's this? Lucia DeFranco. No. I don't want your frogs. Friendly introduction. Maybe we do friendly introduction and then give a sales pitch? Look at all these cute people coming! Oh, hi! Give sales pitch. I'm pretty sure you have to like talk to them first and then they'll buy stuff. Oh my god! $400! $64! Someone bought the fish and the frog! We have one more fish left. Oh, she's cold. Get to know. Can we not do sales pitch anymore? Give sales pitch. Hi! Hello! Funny introduction. Give sales pitch. You too, you too. Who are you? Come on, guys. Bye. Judith. Judith, I know you got the cash. Girl, I know you got the cash. Yes! That is what's up, you guys. Look at how much money we have already. Bye. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Give sales pitch. Come on. Buy something. Yes! Another $64. Get. Hi. Um. Earbuds. Whatever. Sure. <laughs> Why not, honestly? Start yard sale. Okay. Um, let's give her a sales pitch, compliment outfits, and then give him a sales pitch. She's still here, and she hasn't bought anything. Brighten day, give sales pitch. I gotta sell this last fish. I gotta sell these flowers and these common upgrade parts. I don't know why people don't want them. You guys, yes! Did I mark up the prices? Okay, yeah, they're already marked up as much as they can be. Yep. Jet land grab. I know you got some money, honey. He bought something. Someone buy the fish. I feel so bad for the fish. Give sales pitch. Hi. Look at all these people. Someone bought something else. Like someone bought a common upgrade part. Honestly, that is what's up. Yes! Yes! <laughs> keep coming, keep coming. Yup. Once someone buys the fish, I'll be happy. This guy's cute. Who's this? Trace Bellamy. Hmm. Maybe he could be a t potential uh, baby daddy. I don't know what they're buying, but nothing is disappearing from the table. Goodbye. Brighten day. Oh wow, I already reached charisma level 3. That's amazing. Yes! Someone bought the fish, you guys! For $32! I only would have gotten $8 if I sold it, like, straight out the... 
straight out the bat straight off the bat so that's great i just have a few more snapdragons here someone bought the common upgrade part for 40 dollars okay it's time it's time to buy the snapdragons even though you can go pick them for free right over here it's time to buy them i know you want the flowers i know you want them she's like look these flowers on my table, they're way better than any of the flowers that you could find around here. <gasps> I don't know what they're buying, but it's just like... <laughs> they're just like giving me money at this point. Honestly, they are. Okay. That was oddly successful. So let's go back to our little hut. You're bored. What are you bored from? You don't have to tend the table anymore. The yard sale's over. Let's have some yogurt. Someone is in our house. Is she, was she using our toilet? We, why do we have negative with her? Is it because we tried to give her a sales pitch? Look, we're not a bad. We're not bad people. Just yeah, come and have a chat with us. What's your name? What do you like? Ah, uh, me. Lucia de Frank. She's so pretty. I would love to have those jeans in my legacy. She's a genius. Yeah, it is quite smelly, isn't it? Let's, can we put them, like, further? Oh, we can buy a trash can now! What am I saying? <laughs> so I definitely want to get the trash can that's going to give us money when we throw stuff away. It's such a good investment. <gasps> you guys, that's all of our money. Do we dare? seems a little bit ridiculous at this point I think I'm just gonna get us the $55 trash can for now we just have that in the back of the house and then I do want to get her the easel I'm just gonna get right on it you know what I'm saying and I want her to have pretty things to paint so we'll just put it right here okay and I think we're good for now it's just it's only it's only been our first night so it's like I don't want to get too ahead of myself. <laughs> Come on, go ahead and throw all this stuff away so it's not smelly anymore. And then let's have a cla let's do a, a a large classic painting. Get that fun up. Does that really not help with your fun? Oh crap! I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a good night now. Thanks for coming to my yard sale. Oh, that's not good. Bye. Asked to leave. You can go now, please. Bye bye. Okay, so we need something that's gonna assist with our fun. What is fun? Something that will give get our fun up, but also our fun up. Ooh ooh ooh. This is fun. Okay, yeah. We can have the guitar over here by our easel. Let's just practice for a little while. Get that fun up and then we can go to sleep. Another vampire. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? This I hate this painting, but I'm just gonna put it in. Oh, we can sell it. I totally forgot. I do want to be f a famous, like, painter or something along those lines, so let's just sell it. I hate that painting anyway, so. Okay, time for bed. <sighs> okay, guys, I think this is a great place to leave it. This was an oddly successful first episode. I have to say, we made a lot of money on that table selling fish and common upgrade parts, and snapdragons, which are like the most common flower in The Sims. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to see where this challenge goes. I hope you guys are excited too. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you guys are excited. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!